G'day guys, Christian here from Phone Fox. In 2014, Apple released their first plus size phone, the iPhone 6 Plus. Now I'm sure you'll remember there was a huge media hype around the bend gate issue where users of the 6 Plus were reporting that the phone was actually bending in their pockets. And we actually saw a couple of videos which demonstrated how easily the 6 Plus could be bent by hand, which was a bit concerning. So with the release of the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, we wanna find out for you guys does the 6S Plus still bend and has Apple really addressed this issue? So before we get into it, here's what we do know. Apple has used a more durable 7000 series aluminium in the new iPhones. They've also increased the thickness of the iPhones, so they're actually two millimeters thicker than the predecessors with the new hardware. And Apple has used a new technique in manufacturing the screens. So they're actually claiming these screens to be the most durable screens on the smartphone market right now. So it should be pretty interesting to see what happens. So let's get into this. Okay, so I'm gonna start off slowly with a little bit of pressure and just slowly increase the pressure and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm about 20% right now. I'm seeing a bit of flex. I felt the uh, 3D touch activate. You're actually seeing a little bit of bend here. Now, Siri's talking to me, but I'm putting, right now I'm putting about 90% pressure and then you can see I'm starting to shake here. This is not me putting it on. I'm putting as much pressure as I can. <sighs> and that's that's not bending. That's not bending at all. That is pretty, pretty surprising actually. Apple have done a good job at reinforcing this here. My fingers are sore. Uh, I think you can see a little bit of flex in there, but it seems to have popped back into place actually. Um, I felt my thumb sort of sink into the back of the phone there, but as you can see, there's no physical damage whatsoever. So let me just give that one last shot and I'm gonna really try my hardest to snap this phone for you guys, all right? <sighs> oh, shit. Ow. And my thumbs, I cannot snap this thing. That's, that's insane, that is insane. They've done a really, really good job. Now I put as much pressure as I could onto that and I could not bend this thing myself. We do want to see what it's going to take to bend this thing though, but I think that pretty much puts an end to the bend gate issue for Apple. You're not going to see this thing bend in your pocket anytime soon. Now, John has been doing some training and cause we're New Zealanders, he's done a haka in preparation for the challenge ahead and we're going to tag team bend this thing for you guys. Yeah. All right, you ready mate? All okay, right, let's, get into this. let's go each side and we'll just slowly increase the pressure. Okay. Pushing it hard, oh, I can hear some cracking. I can hear some, oh my God. Oh, Jesus, that is f***ing strong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that bent it? Uh, let's it take has. a look at that. It has. it has actually bent it a little bit, but not much there. Slightly. Should we give it one last shot? Let's give it another shot. Please. All right. Okay. All right, ready, set, go. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, it's bent. That's, oh. you got a little bit of bending there. But honestly, shit, that is so strong. Is strong. So strong. All right, you go. The screen is popping out a little bit there and we've got a little bit of a bend there. So you can actually see a subtle bend there, but man, that took a lot of pressure to do that. That took a lot of pressure to do that. Again, another shot. Last one, all right. Okay, three, two, one, give it everything. Oh. 7,000 7, series of kicking our ass. Jesus. And we're not lightweights. So as you can see, there is a clear bend in the weak spot by the volume rockers there, but it did take two people to do that. And the phone is actually still fully functional. So luckily we've got a good friend, Matt, at iMendit in Pukekohe, who's offered to do the repair for us. So if you do live in the area, check out the link in the description below. And we are actually doing a giveaway for you guys. So we've got a Bluetooth headset here. So if you're interested in getting your hands on that, hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think about the iPhone success. And we'll see you guys next we time. We had it underwater for about 15 minutes and we just absolutely couldn't get it to stop working. It's actually a lot more waterproof than we had originally anticipated.
Now, Apple don't claim that their watch is waterproof. However, we had ours under hot water for about five minutes. Then we had it in a bucket of cold water for another five minutes. And then we took it for a swim for 15 minutes in a pool.